There were 350 investors taking part in panels, networking sessions, and B2B meetings. Discussion frameworks focused on what needs to be injected to move the companies forward. There's a real need to train our people. We have natural resources and we need to transform them in order to have added value. The added value also means on-site transformation. For this, we need discipline and vigor. Through our experiences and knowledge, we must be able to contribute. During this night of entrepreneurship, I hope to be solicited by decision makers, ministers, business leaders and also school leaders. And this is the first step. We need our state to make some changes to make things easier for us because it is not really easy. We especially need to have several schools in Mali to train young people in the fields of directing, production and audiovisual as in Nigeria or other countries that are very high level. We hope that a young Malian can apply for a job in Hollywood, for example, because he or she has the level in terms of directing and production. African entrepreneurs also discussed the challenges of accessing financing, the lack of support structures, and the exhausting costly bureaucratic procedures. These were the leading constrictors for the young entrepreneurs. Thanks to our presence in the Malian market, the country now has a mobile finance tool and we want to conquer all of Africa in order to provide the continent with a mobile finance tool that is typically African. The support we have received has enabled our mobile money company to develop quite rapidly in Mali. We have more than 20,000 active points of sale and over 100 direct employees and several thousand indirect workers. We are gradually positioning ourselves as a leader in money transfer and mobile payment in Mali. During the evening, African women were congratulated for their leadership and entrepreneurial spirit. Through my show Fifi, I have been able to benefit from several international programs, including the program Young Africa Leaders Initiative of President Obama. I was also able to do internships at Voice of America in the United States. I was also among the 100 most influential young people in Africa in 2016 and 2017, according to a ranking established by the African Union. Two days prior to the event, entrepreneurs held meetings with authorities in Mali, as well as ambitious students who were interested to learn more about the labor market and the current global economic environment. African businessmen were challenged to invest in their respective countries over the long term in order to revive the continent's economy.